Okay, we're going to take a look at one of my web apps I uh, made about two years ago in the Philippines. And uh, it's called My Day Biz. So you can see this icon right down here, this blue icon. I'm going to press that. And of course, it's web-based. And um, of course, the client would have to be logged in. If they're already logged into a different interface, all you have to do is be able to pass their username through instead of logging in twice. And what you do is get a basic schedule all the way from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And that could be customized of whatever times are available. Um, the user will, the admin will have the ability to black out or remove some of these uh, slots if they're, if they're not available at all. Um, so if you want to go, of course, it says Thursday right now because I made this in the Philippines. And today it is Thursday in the Philippines, not Wednesday. If you want to move on to Friday, you just swipe your finger. And you could swipe up to five days ahead of time. Um, if you want to go directly to the date, you hit this top menu and you could go directly to that date up to five days. But of course, that could be customized for a month if if you want. It could be like a little calendar that pops out and you just select the, the date you want. Um, there's also this check in here. Now, this could be used for many other uh, ways. Originally, if you just check in and you check in, it'll show that one person is at that location right now, but that could that inter that script could be used for different ways. It could be also be used just for admins only to see that someone checked in at a specific area. Um, so when you book something, let's say I want to book 8 a.m. today, all you do is add, and there you go. Now, if someone else, if you notice there's these rainbow colors, when it's fully read, that means that is fully booked and no one else could book in that time slot. So you the admin has that ability to control how many people could be taking at 8 a.m. Right now, we could take another person because it's not fully read. Of course, I only have one login, so if I try and add it again, this is what I'll get. The booking already requ is requested. And then I could easily delete it. Now, what's cool about this is this interface was meant for several businesses. Um, so right now, I have two businesses in here, and the users can put different businesses in here. But of course, you just have one business, so it would only be um, one specific business, and you wouldn't have that feature. However, there's a personal schedule. If you look down here, it says my schedule. If you press that, the person has a personal schedule. And you see, I already have some entries in here. Um, so if you want to book at 10 a.m. personally, like I'm going to go to Denny's or something like that, um, they could simply add that and have their own um, personal schedule. So well, I didn't add that, but let's go ahead and add that. Denny's and then add. Okay, you see. And you could... Uh, check mark it so it crosses it strikes it out and this is remember this is all web-based this is not apps so um yeah that's about it it's a pretty easy interface to create but i'm looking at maybe it's going to take like uh 50 hours of work maybe 100 hours of work to get it customized for a specific client and then there's going to be add-ons on what kind of analytics you want to view and that could be like um add as you go uh, depending on how detailed your analytics want to be well in a nutshell this is uh, my day biz that i have online right now just giving you a video demo because i don't think it's accessible for people that don't have a specific user account at the moment